Hey guys, how are you folks doing today? Today I'm going to talk about is the laws of life. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because for thousands upon thousands of years, we've all lived our lives in the principle. Now if we were really think about this, everything we do has rules and regulations to follow. If we see the bigger picture here, we have the laws of mathematics, the laws of science, laws of physics, and we got laws of this nation, and then we have laws of God. And so for physics, for instance, when it comes to gravity, what goes up must come down. Well, if the object doesn't go down, then there's no such thing as gravity. Even card games, board games, video games have rules and regulations to follow. Anybody that breaks these rules will be disqualified. And so the point what I'm saying is every choice you make in this world has consequences, one or another, one way or another, good or bad. This is why it's important to stay consistent in God's words. When you keep his words, he will bless you in your future. The Bible makes very clear that everybody who does bad deeds will be living under a curse. Now, it doesn't say exactly like that in the Bible. What I'm saying is everybody that does bad things will continue to face hard times in their future. As, and those who continue on measuring good deeds, living in holiness in the eyes of God, their life will be blessed. Even though they will face trials up ahead, they'll still be blessed no matter what because the Bible makes clear that whoever does the will of God is like building a house on a rock. And when the storm hits, the house still stands firm. But for those who do their own will, it's like building a house on the sand. And if the storm hits, their whole house collapses. And so the problem is with our society is mankind these days is becoming more lovers of themselves. It's all about me, me, me this and me, me, me that. I understand we all have interests in our lives, things that we like to do and want to do, but there comes a time in our lives that we have to do things that we don't want to do, but we do it anyway because we understand it's really best for us. For example, we don't like go some of us don't like going to sleep, but we have to go to sleep anyway to keep ourselves mobilized the next day. When we go to the gym, we work out, we understand our bodies has its limits. And we know at some point in time we have to stop and so we can get some rest. Again, so our bodies can be recovered the next day or the next few days or so forth. Uh, what else? Food. You know, we all have to eat food to keep ourselves alive. And job. We all have to get a job to make a living. These are all the principles that we have to do in order to, be able to make a living. And so, ultimately, when it comes to living our lives here on earth... Anybody who has this mentality of self-seeking will end up plunging themselves into ruins because we got plenty of other people who also have the same mentality. People upon people fighting for power. It's not a healthy environment when people all they want to do is gain this whole world and lose their own souls. Heck, some people will even go as far as killing someone, hire hitmen to kill someone just so they can climb up the ladder. I mean, that's life of power, guys. We got a lot of secret shady things going on in the system of America. More than we can possibly know. And you know, the media doesn't show everything of everything. And other than that, we can't fully trust what the media says. But the point what I'm saying is, there is laws to follow. No matter what we do, we're always going to have rules and regulations to follow. I mean, even mafia, gangsters, drug lords, cartels, they have rules to follow too. And if any one of them breaks them, their blood will be on their heads. So even people walking darkness has to serve someone and follow the rules or else they're going to suffer some severe consequence. It is like food. When we are a child, when we grow up, we got we find food, some foods that we really really like. Enjoying pasta, or what's that? Tacos, burritos, I mean all kinds of variety. And we gorge ourselves in these foods that gives us these cravings. But as we get older, there comes the times of life where we realize we don't have the same metabolism as we used to. And so some of us decides to go on a diet. And it's really hard to do so because we have spent many years enjoying the things that bring out good taste in our taste buds. But we totally forget that our bodies is not the same as it used to be. And so for everybody that gets older, they understand that they, we have to make a choice to do some adjustments within our bodies by going on a diet. 
We have to eat things that we don't want to eat, but we know that it's good for us in the long haul. And so there are there has been some people who try to go on the diet, but as days on or months on end pass by, they gradually gave up sticking to the diet to try to cut down some carbs, cut down some weights here and there because because the cravings want to eat back to their old food. And so one led to another, they suffered high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and eventually unfortunate and premature death, all because the kind of foods they've been eating. You know, Wiseman once says, you are what you eat. And so, but for those who persevered and made it on through, amen to them. And so even when it comes to food, we have to make sure if we're going to live a longer life th lifestyle, we, we have to do some tune-up of what kind of food we ought to eat for our, for our bodies because our body changes as we get older. And that's just part of life. You know, nobody lives forever. And so if anybody wants to live a longer lifestyle, well, they have to accept the fact that they're going to have to make some sacrifices within themselves in order to live a longer lifestyle. You know, going to the gym, eat certain foods they don't want to eat, but it's good for them in the long haul. I mean, heck, even children, for instance, most children hate broccoli, but parents understand that broccoli is good for them. You know, some of them will even go as far as grab a hold of their hair, hold them in place, and lift them up just enough to about force them to eat broccoli. Now, I know that may sound like it's a child abuse, but some parents, they do that because they love them and they want to make sure they grow up living a healthy life. And so, so it comes at times we have to do things we don't want to do. Oh, uh, what else? But we know it's good for us in the long haul. Uh, what else are we trying to mention? Oh, yes. Movies like John Wick. I know John Wick's one of the most popular movies out there. You know, his performance and his action is pretty darn cool. But he has broken some rules. One rule in particular. And if anybody has seen the episodes of John Wick, in the end, the last movie, even though he barely survived, he still had to suffer. You know, even he has to have rules to follow. And because he broke one rule, that rule was enough to cost him, almost cost him his life. He nearly almost died at the end, but he barely survived. But even though he barely survived, he had to carry these injuries and wounds for pretty much the rest of his prime time in his field as a as an assassin. And so, the point I'm saying is, whether you're living in darkness or living in light, there's laws that we have to follow. Let me give you an example. A guy named Daniel. He has spent his years trying to improve his mathematical skills. But the problem is, as he became a teenager, he grew rebellion. Instead of actually solving equations, he decides to only write down the answers. He's, he uses his smartphone to calculate the equations, take care of all the complex stuff. And he only just writes down the answers. Because he personally believes that as years pass by, everything's going to be more and more into technology. Well, let's say that he grows up graduates out of high school going through college professor notices that he has skipped a few steps and realized that he's only been putting down answers instead of writing out how he solved the problem and so despite of that instead of actually giving advice that he must learn how to solve this equation he decides the professor decides to let, let him get away with it and so let's say Daniel continues on his progress working his way up the letter one letter to another after he graduated out of college, he got himself a career in physics. And as he continued on in his field, his co-workers quickly noticed something odd about him. When they tried to work together understanding principles of equations, thermodynamics of some kind, or some kind of radiations, or cosmos, or whichever, whatever they're studying in, they gradually realized this guy doesn't understand equations jack squat. Even the basic fundamentals. Why? Because he has spent his years relying on his smartphone to get the answers instead of practice solving them himself. And so one led to another, as rumors spread, Daniel's boss takes notice. And after he figured that out, what did his what did his boss do? He fired him. So it's eight years of nothing. So the point where I'm saying is anybody that breaks laws has consequences. So it's important that we must live our life in good measures, in the eyes of God. Every measures we take gets measured 
onto us. And so, laws are laws, guys. We, we have to live by them. If you live by them according to your evil deeds, your sin's going to find you one way or another. I kid you not, guys. You know, thieves will get their stuff stolen. Anybody who continues on stealing other people's property, eventually somebody else is going to be far more ruthless and end up stealing their dignity. Anybody who commits adultery is going to someday meet someone who they are in love with, but it turns out they too have been unfaithful because of their lack of self-control. You know, what goes around comes around. That stuff is true, guys. That's why it's important to give our lives to Jesus while, we, while there's still a chance. Laws are laws. When we live by them, we will do well. And for all the fellow young people from high school to college, or in their early 20s, if you're still sinning, you're going to have a rough road ahead, okay? I'm going to real talk here. Because if, you're, if you have a career making a six-figure salary, or about to get a career making a six-figure salary, and you already got some evil deeds already measured in your heart, when you climb up the ladder, the co-workers, they will take notice. The boss will take notice. So if anybody out there wants to move up the ladder, they got to make sure their heart is purified first before they climb up. Because if their heart's pure evil, they climb up the ladder, they're not, gonna, they're not only going to affect themselves, they're going to affect many people around them. And so it's important that we all stay consistent following laws, respecting authority, and most of all, respecting God's commandments at all costs. Because His words... It's the only place that can save our soul. We abide in Him. We'll have fruits within us. And so it's important to stay within the laws. You know, we can't hide our sins forever. Eventually your sins will find you out. We've all been there. And for all the youngins out there, if you're walking in rebellion right now thinking you're invincible, I guarantee you, your sin's going to find you out. The devil will eventually eat you alive. So if, if you're in sin, this is your opportunity to give your life to Jesus. It only Jesus can lift your burdens. Because if you don't repent, you're going to face trials beyond what you can handle. And you're going to be burdened beyond repair. That's the last place you want to be in. So please, take us to heart. Live righteous. Live holy. Live pleasing. You know, if you're going to work out the ladder, you want to make some good money. You want to be blessed and live a good, healthy lifestyle. The first place you want to do is be obedient to God's commandments. You do that, you will live well. Everything else will follow, and people will take notice. They'll be more comfortable to talk to you. One led to another. Even people that may not like you will still be comfortable talking to you because they notice how nice and humble you really are. You know? So it's important to stay within the laws. Even if you're a gamer, you love playing games. Games too have rules to follow. Anybody that breaks them will be disqualified. And so, it's important to always live by the law, no matter what. You stay within the law, you will be blessed. But if anybody dares to break the law, they will be punished one way or another. We cannot escape punishment, guys. If you want to avoid the punishment, or the eternal destiny of hell? Repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Keep His commandments and you will live well. You will not be just sur surviving. You'll be thriving in Jesus' name. Till next time, God bless.